Alright guys, a couple days ago we finally got the Melanistic Fox, but there are still two rares we need to find on this reserve, which are the Melanistic Fallow Deer and the always elusive Melanistic Rooster. And even though I wanted to continue a search on multiplayer, my internet connection is really bad today, so it won't be possible to join any server, but luckily we can keep looking on our single player map, where apart from having a certain chance to come across one of these rares, we may also stumble onto something interesting like this max estimate Red Fox track, which may finally be the track of a diamond Red Fox. You know, in the last month we came across like 15 of these max estimates and only one of them was a level 9 which wasn't even a diamond, so hopefully this one will finally be big enough. Now talking about the rares we need on this map, which are the Mela Fallow Deer and the Mela Rooster, I was thinking that perhaps the approach we are taking to find them is not the most efficient. You know, in the case of the Fallow Deer, we can actually do a grind on the Aurora and get one before reaching a thousand kills, which shouldn't take more than a week. But in the case of the Mela Rooster, that's where things get more complicated, because there's not a single great way to grind pheasants efficiently. You know, there are some methods that involve using four wheelers, some others use tens, but none of those methods is one that I would enjoy using. So I have to say that getting that blue rooster in the near future looks very unlikely. I'm sure we'll get one at some point, but maybe not soon. Ok, this red fox is about to give me a headache. We still haven't been able to spot it, it feels like he's always one step ahead, and all this vegetation doesn't help. He's really close though, so we just gotta arrive to an open place where we finally get a chance to see him. Oh, that's gotta be him. Level 8, 18 to 13 estimate. No chance to make it. And no chance to shoot him neither. But there he is again. And this time, he's perfectly broadside. So he won't go anywhere. That's it. Regardless of the score, getting a mythical red fox is never a bad way to start a hunt. 12.79, not a huge mythical. And look at the tracking distance. Way longer than it should have been. We hit a double long at 73 meters. So now let's continue and let's see if we can find an actual diamond. Alright, now we're on this region, and I just came across the track of a potential level 3 pheasant. He may be the first time of the hunt, and actually right now it's the pheasant race time, so if we avoid running and we only walk, we shouldn't have any issue to locate him and get inside the shotgun range. Alright, warning call. The flock is right there, and the rest of the zone is right there. So hopefully we'll get a chance to drop him here. We just gotta spot him before he takes off. I don't see him though. It seems he took off already, which is unfortunate. We weren't lucky this time, we'll have to continue a chase. Oh, there's one coming in. Level 1 though. And there's another one over there, which is a female. So I wonder if the others will fly this way as well. Would be ideal, but it doesn't seem that will be the case. Alright, he may be here, let's go. It's a level 2, but not the max estimate. So... Where's the big one? He's gone again. Oh, alright. There's another rooster. Which is the big one, level 2. It has an estimate of 17 to 20, which ain't the most promising estimate, but in theory should be able to make it. We gotta drop him. We hit him at least once, so now let's see how big it is. It's interesting that this guy was alone because when I found the track initially he was part of a decent sized flock. There were multiple females on it, and actually, this guy has a brown plumage, while the distorted vegetations of the other one said white brown. So this ain't the same max estimate. Oh, grounded. 
How? No way. He fortunately wasn't too big, I mean 2.5 kgs, he wasn't gonna score more than 19.5 perhaps, but it's just dumb that he didn't give us the full score, he was still in the air when I shot it and he was still flying. He wasn't even descending, he's just dumb. Alright, finally. I managed to find the flock once again. And even though I still haven't seen the max estimate, I'm sure he's there, because he has to be. If he ain't, then I don't know where he could be, honestly. We have to go there. Alright, let's hope they give us a chance. Right there. Max estimate, level 2. We gotta check if there's actually any blood, but it looked like we hit him. And fortunately, there's some blood here. Now let's see what he scores. He wasn't a huge level 2 though, he had an estimate of 16 to 19, which doesn't leave any room for a potential diamond score. But I'm happy we managed to get it, it wasn't easy, it was quite a long chase. And here we have it, 19.42, not too bad. He's a big rooster. As you can see, he's a bit heavier than the last one, so probably higher score as well. And this one is actually a white brown, so it is definitely the one we found initially. Now that's a giant. Level 5 European Bison. He has a decent estimate up to 312. No idea for how long this guy's been here, probably since the last population reset on Hirschfelden, which I believe happened on October 2020. And by the way, right now we're on this area, which is a pretty decent location to find bison. You know, there are usually a lot of pools here, and it ain't rare to come across max estimates on this area. So the chances of finding a diamond on this region are quite high. And I wouldn't be lying if I say that I found like 5 diamonds near this place. Now, even though I already got all the rares for the European bison, there's still something I really wanna find, which is a gold scoring melanistic male. You know, the one I got last year was a silver, so I'd love to get a bigger one. And honestly, I wouldn't mind doing another grind in the near future because the first one was a blast. I really enjoyed it, and I really think the second one could be even better. Alright. The second shot was unnecessary, but the first one was a viral. Okay, there's the five. Less than 60 meters out. So let's go for it. Should be enough. Again, the second shot was unnecessary, but it helped to drop in quicker. Now let's see how big it is. Perhaps the first diamond of the hunt. Just gonna take him a picture. Let's see a score. Oh. 265.82. He's a troll, and quite a small troll he wasn't that close. Would have been nice if he made it, but this is something that can happen. I mean, not all the max levels are gonna be diamonds, some of them are gonna troll, and we cannot complain, he's still a big bison. Let's continue. Alright guys, we're still on single player, currently on this region, and I just put it an albino female European bison. You know, I came up here to see if I could find another level 5, and I came across this massive herd, which I'ma start wiping out because there are just so many bisons here. This place is just amazing. It ain't always like this, it can be quite inconsistent, but if you move along this shoreline at the bison drink time, there's a really good chance you'll come across at least one or two hertz. And it's really easy to shoot a lot of them here since they will normally stay close to the water. You know, talking about this part of the river right here. So it's definitely a place that I recommend you visiting if you are looking for a good spot to find bison. And there goes the albino. Less than 40 meters out. So let's see if she gives us an angle here. Come on. 
She has plenty of cover, plenty of bodyguards. Let's see. That will do it. She's going down. A beautiful albino cow. I believe this is my third ever albino female bison, which are way more common than the males, but they look just as good in my opinion. I mean, the detail on the fur is quite impressive. 